right, everybody. Martin here, back with round two of this Wednesday League. Playing the Naughty Naughty Belcher deck. Uh, and we have lost the die roll. And our opponent is. It's there. Okay, so we get this hand. It has no business. It's a lot of mana. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six mana. This is like I don't know if I should be on if I should keep this on the draw because we get our draw step plus a probe to hit one of our uh, eleven business spells. I don't know the odds on that. Like we have way way more non business spells than than business spells, so it seems a bit iffy. Can we run a mulligan? So this hand lets us go for one, two, three, four, for ten goblins. So we're gonna keep this. And they have kept six as well. This just means twelve go oh actually no, this means this means uh the belcher kill. So let's keep that. I hope we don't have we're not up against force of will. So the good thing here is they if they discard us, the natural inclination for them will be to take either Burning Wish or Belcher, and in this case with a combo piece once we draw our next card. Okay. Well, this is where we're sad that, like, if they have days, it completely wrecks us. Did they scry to the top? Uh, they scry to the bottom. Not that that really matters that much. They just fetch. Okay, well, um, I think we just go for it. They don't have days. And force. They're four card hand. And they are dazing this pedal. Okay, so I guess so it's something that they I guess they used the it's nice that they used the days here and not further down the road. We can pay for the days with the spirit guide, but then we just have a pedal in play. I think I'd rather have the spirit guide in hand. Uh, well, we can still sort of go for the same plan next turn if we draw another initial mana source, like a pedal or a land grant or a spirit guide. Or Chromox, I guess, but Chromox means we will, we're off the, the Burning Wish plan then. Well, there's the taiga. I think we just need to go for it again. Hope we don't have the second days or the force. I guess they're not doing anything with their mana, with with their cards in hand. No, no, they were. They just, they only had. I was just thinking like. They're not casting any spells when they have three cards in hand, but they I forgot they dazed so they have to replay their land. They don't have what mana used it to play a creature. So anyways. So we'll play out the LED first before we play the Belcher, just in case they actually do have days. Uh, that way we can pay with the LED and still sort of uh, have to get to have the Belcher if not but unactivated. But we get to win this turn, so it's all good. Yeah, they take 33. The annoying thing about playing Belcher online is they actually have to concede, or we have have to put all the all the cards in our library on the bottom. So that's how Belcher works. 
but I think they're just looking at our list right now, which is fine. <sighs> Please concede. I'm just going to write to our opponent. Mask. Please concede, otherwise, I have to put all the cards on the bottom. Something tells me I might get a cranky response or no response at all. Maybe it's like Magic Online's way to sort of get back at the at the filthy Belcher players, making them do this as a way of punishment. Looks like our opponent is not conceding. Oh wait, no, there they went. Did it. Thank you. All right, so starting is. I don't think we actually sideboard anyway anything here because Xantiswarm is likely to get met by a lightning bolt. And like I suppose that like this would could be a place to bring in the goggle responses. If not here then where? It just seems so well actually what the hell, let's try it. They're in the list. I guess someone thought about them and put them there. We're going to pour out the Metamorphoses and Chromebox and see where this takes us. I'm just starting to envision the double guttural response hand, but I'm going to bomb it over. So this hand does what? Does one, two, Three, four, five. Yeah, this hand makes a lot of goblins, though not through a force of will. They've kept seven. I feel like your blue opponent keeping seven is such a big tell. Seems two and three here that they have force. I could be wrong. Like it, it might be that they have like uh, fast clock and days and brainstorms and stuff, and just think, what the hell? It's not the Oh, black mana, so it's Grixis. Okay, I wonder what they name here. Unfortunately, I likely Burning Wish. So yeah, I was definitely under, under the impression that we were up against uh, like just blue red Delver because of the of the monastery Swiss Spears. So I think, oh, they named Lotus Petal, sure. We actually get to play around Lotus, like we can survive without Lotus Petal. So if they don't have Force, I think we we have it here. Let's see. So one Spirit Guide makes one. We cast a Tinner Wall. And that makes two. Let's say they Daze, so we use the second Spirit Guide to pay. So we still we have two mana from the Tinder Wall, three mana from the Parade Ritual, then LED, then Burning Wish for Empty, and with one mana floating, sack LED. So yeah. I mean, if they have the Force, they have the Force. So nothing we can do about that. We're still, I think, very much supposed to, to go for it here. Actually, if we draw a roll response and they have Force but not Days, that's so awesome. Okay, we don't. All right. Let's get this Tinder wall. Uh, I think we just cast the Pyretic Ritual here. Yeah. I mean, 
if they have force, I think they know our hand except for one card. They're just supposed to wait until the burning wish. And we're just going to go sort of out the LED first, actually, just in case they want to force that. So, like, they have to respect that we drew empty. But in that case, they should not allow us to resolve the heretic ritual. Okay, so let's sack the spirit guy to get the tinder wall. And for black, did they add the force? They add the force. So, and they also had the days, but you know, whatever. All right, so let's just pass. I guess we are probably in this game. We have a tinder wall to block. For a little while, if they play out, you know, I don't know, Young Pyromancer or Monster Swift Spear. Yep. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Should we. No. No, let's pass. I was going to say, should we play out the land grant? Because they can Cabal Therapy us, but. Hmm. Maybe the storm is better, and I don't know if they play wastelands. Based on game one, I would say no, but based on game two, I don't know. So the sort of cool thing about this deck is that you get to. Uh, like each card you more in your hand gets you closer to your starting seven in this deck. Usually it is able to combo off the starting seven. Wow, okay. Gurmag Angler, sure. That's gonna shorten their clock significantly. So now we have access to four mana. It's not really that great. We're taking six a turn as it is. Oh, well, I guess there's no reason to play that out. That was stupid. If they do have wasteland, it's not like we'll, we'll draw a second land. I think we're basically dead. We probably were the, the minute they had the force. Ah, oh, yes, Celebi. Right, so we are actually dead. Right. I guess not if they f don't flip and don't cast a spell. But we're going to concede. Just move on to game, t uh, to game three. So yeah, I guess like with the uh, previous round, I might just bring back in a Chromox while on the play and take out one of these three God Rule responses. Yeah, otherwise, not a lot to say. Uh, during one of my test matches, I whiffed on the Belcher, and that was so frustrating. You know, activate Belcher, and my Taiga was like three cards down. All right, so we want to be on the play here. This hand. Fortunately, it's not good enough. Like the second land grant and the second MT is what kills his hand. If they had been like, like yeah, more mana, we would have been okay. But yeah, let's mulligan. So I think we keep this hand. Um, we don't want the, the LED on top. So, like, we are missing one mana. 
to to make empty. The problem is if they have force and they kept seven, is we need to show them our hand so they will know when to stop us. But let's see what these two probes give us. Infinite. Oh, they don't have anything beautiful. They have days, double angler, surgical. I don't like surgical. I can spell her. Volcanic and young pyro. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing us. Flood of strand. Okay, well, if we get a mana, which we do, beautiful. We get to make a heap of goblins. So they can do nothing now. They can only make things worse for themselves by casting surgical extraction. Uh, yeah. Oops. Batteries running short. It's okay. Plug this in. All right. Ritual. So they basically need to find sweeper effect, and that there are no one mana sweeper effects to my knowledge in Grixis, so they need to uh, find it in the next two turns, their next two draw steps. I don't know, this might be enough just to get a concession. And make 16 goblins. So this, all this just comes down to, do you have the force of will? I think actually because we drew the second ritual, which meant we didn't have to cast uh, the land grant, there's a definite chance we could have, uh, we could have played around a force of will. It's not apparent, immediately apparent what you're supposed to force there. Anyways, that was a quick uh, round two, and I'll be back.